Hi guys, Dorothy here, professional astrologer. Today I'm going to talk to you about the week of July 29th, and that includes the new moon in the sign of Leo, which is on July 31st, and Mercury is stationing to go direct. And what does that mean? As well as some other tidbits for the week that begins with July 29th. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining me here, and please join me on my website, nhastrologer.com, and over on my Patreon page, where you get additional information if you become a member. So today, let's get started. Monday the 29th, the moon is in its balsamic lunar phase. And so what does that mean? That means while it is in this sign, which is of course the sign of cancer, it is about releasing and letting go of those deep, intense emotional things that we picked up earlier in July at the for the eclipse that we had on July 2nd. So now on the 29th, as that moon is in that lunar phase, let's pay attention to what emotionally we are releasing. It's good to pay attention to it. And being that it is this dark of the moon right before the new moon, it's an opportunity to just do these things in private. We don't have to make a public thing about it or go even into groups. It is really something that is very personal, very private for you. All right, for each of us, actually. We also have the sun and Uranus in a square. That sun in Leo squaring Uranus in Taurus. This is a moment, a day. We might feel it Sunday as well, Sunday the 28th into Monday the 29th. A lot of tension, but tension that comes to a head that can be released. Squares create tension, so we're able to make a change. So if you're feeling some tension about something, stop, look, pay attention, and let go of whatever that is. Or take a step towards whatever you're supposed to be taking a step towards. Right? When we feel something isn't right, that means we're not usually taking the right action. And these square transits, these square aspects help to motivate us to take those actions and take those steps. All right, let's move on to Tuesday, the 30th. The moon's still in the balsamic lunar phase, making connections to Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, and Mercury throughout the day. And this is us connecting to our own sense of security and nurturing and how we need to do that for ourselves and close family, people that we live with. That's what Tuesday brings us, all right? Because it's just a continuation of what's going on from Monday. So that's it for that day. All right, let's move on to Wednesday, the 31st, which is the new moon. First lunar event we've had that's not an eclipse in a whole month. So on the 31st, this new moon, and this is the second new moon of July. So this new moon in the sign of Leo is not until 11, 12 p.m. East Coast time. New Moon in Leo wants to set goals and intentions based on being creative. What am I passionate about? How do I want to live through a heart-centered um, existence? It wants us to feel very loving, very kind, very passionate, and to have a lot of fun and be creative. These are the goals, the type of things that we focus on with that new moon in the sign of Leo. Be gregarious, have fun, step outside your comfort zone, play. But we have simultaneously, and it's just before midnight East Coast time, Mercury is stationing to move direct. Mercury is stationing at the same degree that the eclipse we had, lunar eclipse, on July 16th. So New Moon wants us to set goals, be creative, things such as that. Mercury stationing to go direct is frustrating and uh, can feel like we don't have a lot of wiggle room. And again, it is on the same degree as the eclipse from July 16th, and that tells us that something is coming up. So even though we're in a new moon now, it is still the dark of the moon. It takes 36 to 48 hours before the moon has her own, can re start reflecting again. So we're still in this lunar phase, new as it is, it's still unseen. Mercury stopping on the lunar eclipse point to go direct is telling us that if, if, don't make a problem if you don't have one, 
if something is coming to the surface that you were working on or had some releasing going on around the eclipse of July 16th, then now we can fine tune those things. We can see a little bit more, let go of a little bit more, understand a little bit more. So Wednesday, the 31st, and a few days on either side of that because of the balsamic lunar phase, the dark of the new moon and Mercury stationing, the middle of this week feels like we need to take our time and allow whatever processes are happening to just take your time and allow them to come to the surface, examine it, see it for what it is, and then let it go. And once we do that, by the time we get to Thursday the 1st, with the moon growing in the sign of Leo, and then on into Friday the 2nd, Venus and Uranus are in the square aspect, so that's asking us to look at and focus on what we love and value, and how we can step out of our comfort zone to put a little more spark into our life as far as relationships go, or to come up with some new plans around what it is we love, what we value, because Venus also rules money. So we may have opportunities there for sudden um, understandings, windfalls, things such as that with that Venus squaring Uranus on Friday. The moon is in Virgo on Friday as well. So we do get to focus on the details. Saturday, the moon's still in the sign of Virgo, focusing in on what your daily routine is all about. All right, feeling really earthy, feeling really grounded. That's what we get to do. It's just a very comfortable day to stay home and just do things around the house. On Sunday, the moon enters Libra, and now we're looking at finding that equilibrium. If things have felt out of balance, that moon in the sign of Libra, which is a waxing lunar phase at this point, we're really seeking some harmony somewhere in our life. Wherever your Libra sits, whether it's in your sixth house of health and wellness and daily routines, you're looking for balance there. Or if it's in your seventh house, you're looking to find harmony in relationships. If it's in your first house, you're looking to find harmony within yourself. So the moon in Libra on Sunday is asking us for that equilibrium and finding that balance and harmony in whatever area of life is important for you and that you can recognize that needs it. Thank you guys very much. You made it to 12,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, I welcome you to subscribe and please come to my website. I am my uh, professional astrologer. So all the links are right up there and all of the links are in the information box if you're on YouTube below the video. So you're welcome to come and explore. Thank you very much. Blessings. Namaste.